welcome back. It's Fabian back again with another music reaction. And today we're going to be reacting to two people I've reacted to before. One of them I really, really love reacting to, really love his music, Booba Corelli. But it's also got Rasta in the song as well. It's Rasta and Booba Corelli on a track. It's called Habibi. It came out like a year or so ago. And you guys kept telling me to check this one out. I haven't heard this one before. I didn't even know they had a duet going on. I didn't know that until um, like you guys told me. So yeah, Rasta, Booba Corelli, Habibi, let's go. Yeah, how this song is gonna go because Rasta and Booba Corelli are two very very different artists Very different artists like Booba Corelli does his thing. So it's very similar to like Jella Brett as well like him and B Jella Brett do the same kind of thing Obviously and Rasta's very more of a reggaeton type of feel like I guess it's similar in a way But not really so I'm excited to see how this one's gonna go Wait was that an introduction? Habibi. That was an introduction. Hey, Rasta needs to stop doing that with his songs, you know. I always think that's the song. I always think that's the song. I, I start my reaction thinking that's the song. Bloody hell. What song was that, by the way? Was that an actual song? That sounded sick. <laughs> Is it me or does her face look weird? Like, maybe I wasn't looking closely, yeah? Or maybe it was like a reflection or something. But her face looked weird, like the girl that was singing. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Was it just me or was her face a bit weird? Okay, now that the song started, yeah, I can see how they could fit. I can see why they done um, a duet together, yeah. I can see that their voices could go together. Because obviously I know what Booba Corelli does and how he sounds. Because I've listened to a lot of his music. But yeah, this song might actually be sick. <laughs> I want to say something here. Yeah? People say to me, yeah, oh, why are your reactions always positive? Why do you not, yeah, ever have a negative reaction? You know what? Do you know why I don't have a negative reaction? Because, right, this song, for example, it, so far, it's not the best thing you'll hear. It's not the best thing you hear. So far, like, it's not even probably in my top 10, right, that I've reacted on this channel. Maybe not even, like, top 15. But the thing is, right, the way these lot sing, and the way these lot rap, or whatever you want to call it, right? No matter if the song's shit or amazing, but the way they go about their singing or their rapping, or just the way they flow, it's always going to sound unbelievable, regardless of how the song is. Their flow is always banging. <laughs> in the comments below yeah where are they in this video because i can't really make out to be honest unless you're from there yourself i don't really think it's clear where they are unless i miss something major but yeah let me know in the comments below where are they <laughs> That's a good idea actually. I might actually take a photo at some point on top of my car. That photo would look sick. I need to pick a nice scenery here, park my car in front of it, jump on the top, and make someone take a photo. Should I do it guys? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> You see, that's what I mean. The song is not um, a song that you'll probably remember. It's not one of their best songs. 
but the way they flow will always make the song sound better than what it actually probably is and that's why my reaction is always a positive one fuck off all the haters <laughs> thing here is that in the Balkans the beat is generally good it's always good the instrumental is always fire that's why best music in the world <laughs> It's very catchy though it's very repetitive but very catchy I will give him that also is it me yeah it feels like Booba Koredi hasn't even shown his face when he's singing. Like, it's always been just Rasta. Like, their voices are similar in this as well, right? But you don't even know when Booba Koredi's coming in. Do you know what I mean? I'm a bit confused, mate. <laughs> I swear Rasta had like one nostril smaller than the other in that. I'm picking up on small, small things now. I don't even know why. Like, I think it's just like the reflection of the lighting in here is making it look weird. I don't know why though. Because I'm pretty sure the girl's face at the start, yeah, wasn't weird. And I'm pretty sure his nostrils like the same. But like, it's just the reflection on here, yeah, from the lighting is making it look weird. <laughs> You know the thing that she's got on her nose there, right? Is it just me yet, or is it pissing anyone else off yet on like Instagram and Snapchat? You know the filter that every girl's doing now, you where they're putting on like the little nose um, clip ring thing, whatever you want to call it. It's starting to piss me off. You don't look hot, it's a fucking filter. You just look like one of those like, you know the Tauruses or like the little, um, the balls and stuff that they have, the, the nose ring. That's what you look like. Obviously not in this case, I'm talking about the girls that do the filter on Snapchat and stuff. Like it just looks like it's fake, it looks fake. <laughs> That was it for watching the video. Let's analyze the video and the song quickly. The video was very different from what we've seen in Bubba Corelli video. It's not too different from a Rasta video. And what I mean by that, yeah, Rasta likes to do this stuff where there's a nice scenery. Like there was one of the songs that I reacted to, I can't, was it Cavalli or something like that? Um, where he was um, on the beach somewhere. He likes these kind of outdoorsy videos, you know what I mean? Whereas Bubba Corelli is more of like an indoors kind of guy. If you get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, the video was nice. It had a bit of like a, a Arab feel to it with the Habibi and all that stuff. It felt like you were in Abu Dhabi or like or something like that. But yeah, I like the video. Very different video from what these guys normally do. I like the video. Decent one, lads. The song, I said already, yeah. This song, to be honest, probably wouldn't even be in the top 15, right? In terms of what I've reacted to. But their flow was still amazing. Their flow was still amazing. When Buba Corelli came in, yeah, his flow was, was was rapid. He was rapid, proper rap. And yeah, I really like that. Rasta held it down in this song. The chorus was catchy, like you didn't exactly need to know the language to to um, sing along, basically. Right, it was just Habibi over and over again. But yeah, the chorus was um, catchy. The beat was, was nice. It was a bit slow. But you could dance to it, do you know what I mean? Not maybe not in a club, but like if you're driving, you could like a little head bob, a little one of these, like every every two or three seconds. But yeah, the song was okay. It wasn't the best thing you ever hear. I'd give this a 6.5 out of 10. Um, not the best thing you're gonna hear, but like you wouldn't disrespect this song if it came on like on YouTube or, or TV. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Like, share, subscribe, comment below some more suggestions and I'll try to check it out. Try to be creative with the suggestions, song that you guys know I'd probably like because obviously you've been seeing a lot of my reactions in the last three or four months whenever I started YouTube. So you guys know what I kind of like now, what makes me dance and stuff like that. So suggest me some more songs like that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this reaction. Subscribe down below like I said, and until next time, I hope you have a good one. Hey,